G'day mate, my name is Daly and today we're playing Ghost Recon. Last time we took out Yuri and Polito, I think his name was, and this time we're going to go ahead and go all the way over there to start out the influence, uh, what are they called, the, the people in influ influence, so you know we got the two uh, skulls there and the two skulls there, so going off at the difficulty, I don't really want to go for any of the really big ones just yet, you know, because we're, we're still warming up, we're still getting it. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into the territory and then wait and see what happens. This one seems like it has a lot of water, so yeah, let's go do that. I'm going to get in the chopper. We have now got a few question marks on our radar, so I'm going to lower and try to find some. There's a lot of orange dots there. I knew it was orange. For some reason it seems like all the head honchos, all their main people are purple. All the, like heavy security guards are purple. Everyone else is orange. I don't know why that is, but you know, okay, whatever. Right, let's get out of here. Let's find one of those places. Here is one. Did I put a beacon down? Yeah, there it is. Bowman, we just yeah, arrived oops. in Agua Verde. Welcome to Narco Paradise. Agua Verde used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into a place to wine and dine VIPs. Run by this narco junior called Carzida. He brings politicians, judges, and CEOs there for relaxation and cartel sponsored debauchery. What's the plan? We need to know who Sueño's making deals with. Carzida must have a guest list somewhere. You get him, you get the names. Understood. We're on it. We got some intel from Bowman on our boy Carzita. Have we? Where? There it is. Carzita! Javier Coronel Bayardo. Which is a mouthful, so let's call him what his rich friends do. Carzita. He's a meppy, a Mexican preppy, or a prepsican if you prefer. A prepsican? <laughs> his main achievement in life was to win the sperm lottery. Gonzalo Coronel Bayardo, telecom billionaire, is his daddy. Gave Sunny everything. Money, cars, education, BA from Harvard, MBA Wharton Business, D Phil from Oxford to acquire a little sophistication and some good English clothes. Now he gets his own resort to run. This used to be a national park, but Santa Blanca turned it into an exclusive resort. It's here that Carzita does what Carzita does best, making connections between Santa Blanca and anyone that's anyone. CEOs, politicians, judges, socialites, even celebrities. You know who that is, right? Hint. She just went to rehab for saying something racist. <laughs> what Carzita offers the cartel is more than just business deals. It's a level of corruption we've never seen before. And it's on you to stop it. We cut the connections, we stop the corruption. Okay, so that's Carzita. So we have, whoops, I zoomed in on the wrong thing. That's a good thing we're going to the right spot. So you've got major intel just over here, so let's go run away and do that. I'm just going to mark you so I know where the hell you are. How's that? Light panel. At night it blinds you and makes you visible to enemies. Destroy power box to disable it. Oh. That might be a thing I might want to do. Where are the other fellas? Oh cool, they're inside. This province is part of the cartel's Holy influence crap. operation, the propaganda machine, which we should familiarize ourselves with their MO. The man at the top is El Cardinal, an excommunicated priest turned Santa Muerta proponent. He's also supposed to be the spiritual advisor to El Sueño. Other guy in the mix is Ramon Feliz. He used to be a legit journalist till he inexplicably started blogging for the cartel. Okay, another bloody video. Here we go. We'll watch this before we attack this place. All priests like to hear themselves talk, don't they? But as the saying goes, talk is cheap. El Cardenal knew this was true. His people were barely surviving, and he wanted to do something. He had to help those in need. He didn't care where the support came from. But there were others who thought he was making deals with the devil. He was cast out. He lost his family, his friends. Lo perdió todo. When I found him, he was a broken man. I brought him into Santa Blanca to preach the truth of the new faith. For we are wed to death, 
from the moment we are born, and we must come to love her more than we love our lives. Sacred and blessed death, the goddess of darkness can free you from sickness and evil. Do you offer your heart and soul over to her? He baptized me in the true faith. He is my counselor, my conscience. I do. The only person I truly trust with my soul. Holy crap. It's a lot of weight to put on one dude. Lieutenant is over there somewhere. We need to turn off these lights before we do anything. There's probably another light switch over there somewhere, maybe. Okay, so here's his intel. We got locate raid supplies, skill points, or rebel ops. Let's, let's go with uh, skill points. Back it up, back it up. Quick, 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 quick. Alright, we got some skill points. Yo, cartel gunman. Tell me where. How do I go ahead and d destroy this? So it looks we need, like we need to find the actual. Crap. Power box. That's just the light. I don't know where the power box might be. I'm gonna move a little closer and pull out the drone. See if I can find this power box. Seems like it would be in here, wouldn't you think? So there's another one. That's ten. Ten? Holy crap. There's someone I still haven't been able to find. Yeah, I've got no idea. There's one guy I can't see. That's why there's the orange is still lingering around. Maybe it's just that dude. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's just him. That's ten blokes. So we have to make sure if we take some of these guys out, we need to do it with you know, all three of us at once. So there's three there. Yeah, so we have to we have to do this carefully. Uh, let's get them to take out that dude. I'll take out this guy. Oh god. Rally on me. Moving. If I give them an order, can they be spotted? Firing. What the hell? Got it. What the hell? Okay, since we've gone loud, you guys can be free. Alright, they're down. Oh god, where the hell did you? Take cover. Take cover. God damn, this is unprofessional. Maybe I shouldn't give them that order. God damn. Oh, there goes them. Clear. How you guys holding up? Oops. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but these supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. 28 skills available. Holy crap. Just throw his phone now. Cartel owned resort gives location. Doing damage to there would fuck Carzita's business sideways. New mission. Cool. I reckon we'll just go ahead and do some investigation this time around. We won't go too heavy into missions and we'll go into missions next time. What's this? Okay, let's let's go with you know actual supply stuff. Yeah, I found details on an SB supply helicopter. All we have to do is hijack it and deliver it to the rebels. Simple, right? You guys seeing this? Looks like a hell of a resort. A cartel only resort. Let's go scare off some rich folk, fuck with the cartel's tourism, and get Carzita's ass back to Agua Verde. Hmm. One way to put it. Let's just park our car just here, shall we? Seems like they just happen to be on the outskirts of everything. There's a guy over there somewhere. Marking a hostile. He's close to some locals. Watch your fire. We don't oh, want to hit any Oh, got the change is a single fire because this one is pretty heavy on the trigger finger. We don't want to hit any civilians. Let's just waltz on in. Hello fellas, I've got guns. Don't You can let me in all you want. Thanks buddy. Oops, there's a guy here. I don't know if I'm supposed to kill him or not, but oh well. It was close actually. Let's investigate. Just this box in particular. I don't give a rat to us about the rest. We got the location of a cartel-owned casino. Let's bring a war to that casino and see how long Carzita could stay away. All right, we're at another location now, and we got shot up pretty bad in the last car, as you can see. Let's set down our drone, see what we can see, and take the buggers out. There obviously will be 
Somebody in this part. Oh, so it's those two. Wow, well, that's easy. Just get those guys Moving to take to him out. Let me find a good position. That'd be easy enough. Come on. Take him out or I will. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna do it. Roger, target acquired. They're gonna see you. Hold up. Well, they're not. I'm got him. Alright, let's get in here. Let's hack like this thing. Uh oh. Oh, the, the convoy just come past just as I did that. Trim. We get a recording of those two bumping uglies and blackmailing. That might be enough to get the rest of the VIPs to leave. Cool. Oh god, there's a lot of them here. What the hell happened? No, 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 no. Oh no, I pushed the wrong button. Take the fire from the checkpoint. God damn. There we go. We're good. God we damn. Alright, alright. That was interesting, to say the least. Next objective, next piece of intel. We're coming in by water because, well, it's a little bit more easier to go around in this location because it, the whole thing's just a massive lake. So that is a bad dude. I've got eyes on the captain. Whoops. Maybe I should have interrogated him. Oh well, he's dead now. All right, let's keep going. If I don't have to take him out, I won't. But why not, hey? You dead. So steal a helicopter. I can steal a helicopter while I'm here. And get lots of food apparently. There's a guy right there. Tango marked, but he's got a civilian nearby. Has he? Okay. Might just go up and knock him one. Watch for civilians. We don't want to kill somebody by mistake. That's a civilian. Out of the way. God. All right, breathe easy. Back it up. We're gonna see you. That was close. Damn, that was cold. Right in the face. We poked the hornet's nest. The real T's making a run for it. Got him. Oh, oh that was awesome. Spotted. Go. One more. Come on. Oh, I reloaded at the wrong time. Shit, they're headed this way. What should we do? Let's get the intel and get the hell out of here. That's what we're gonna do. We're clear. We've got a twenty on Carzita's assistant. Bowman thinks taking him out will help draw Carzita back. Let's move. You know what, I'm going to come back for this thing another time. Or well, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just going to come back for this for another time, I reckon. Because we're, at the moment, we're just going to be concentrating directly on all of the intel. Because we need to get all the intel before we have any of the other missions. So, let's do this. Actually, I just checked the map. That is all the intel for, for this location. So, let's get this bloody... <laughs> Food deposit while we while we're sitting here. May as well hit two birds with one stone. May, I don't want to have to come back and do this. I, I really didn't want to, but I was prepared to. Twenty-eight skills. After we drop off this helicopter, I'm going to be looking at my skill tree. That's for bloody sure. It. Get in, or I'm going to leave. Three, two, one. Say yes. They, all, they automatically just jump in your car or spawn wherever you land anyway so it doesn't really matter <laughs> rebel run is this a, a rendezvous point for a rebel base it's literally like four sticks in a cloth and then an actual modern tent i don't know fucking who holy crap like swiping a helicopter to bring a day into focus crap yeah let's go ahead and look at all these what how many skill points do i have we've got t uh three 
So we probably get one of, you know, these ones here. Yeah, all right, but this is this is cool. You can actually reduce the noise generation by the drone, so you can literally go past two people and then just keep going. That's insane. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna go with stealth. That because that's cool. And probably reduced hip fire. So, you know, something just not really too in involved. But it's something that will help us out. I'm actually going to think about... I don't know if you actually have to have every single one of these unlock the medic or anything. But I actually don't want to get mark area. I was looking through and, and it just marks them all at once. You know, it'd be handy. But I think it might be a bit overpowered. I like to go around and just mark every one of them individually. But, you know, there might become a time when I'm just like, okay, there's way too many people here. Let's just make it quick. But... Yeah, well, I don't know. That's just my thought process at the at the moment. So, yeah, but, but things might change. I don't know. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to show you is I, I customized my weapon. I put a little camo on it, and I also changed it to a, a red dot sight because I felt like it was a little bit more accurate. It kind of zoomed in too much, so it wasn't precise when I zoomed in with the other one. When I aimed down the sight, sorry, when I aimed down the sights with the other sight, it seemed like I'll have one bullet where it would go where I want it, the rest would just go astray. So that's not what I wanted, so, you know, Red Dot's probably the way to go with this gun, and that's kind of the only thing I usually use this for. We probably should put another, you know, camouflage or something on this weapon, so we're, you know, we're, we're ghostly and we blend in and everything. But these guys are just in bloody casual. C come on, guys. Get with the times. We're meant to be bloody awesome specialist characters. Well, at least I know I am. I don't know. But anyway, guys, that is all I've got time for today, guys. We are just basically gone out and got all the intel, so now we can just focus on all the missions in this area. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know the jazz. Everything is in the description, so go check that out. But that's all I've got time for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, mate. Doggy's down. Is the owner is just over there. I will yeah. kill him. He is done. Oh, I had him all lined up. Oh, sorry. So the gun we got to take is up there, isn't it? In this train carriage right next to me. 